Hey guys, welcome back to my bedroom. Uh, in today's Mindset Matters video, I wanna talk about how to put in more effort into your home workouts. So before, when we would go to hybrid, it was like the perfect environment, right? So you'd walk in the doors, music was going, coaches were giving out cues, there was lots of people, uh, it was just had this high energy vibe, and psychologically, your brain knew, when you walk through those doors, it was go time, baby. Uh, because that's just that separate, it was a separate space specifically for that reason. Whereas now you're at home and suddenly this home of yours, which used to be the place where you would go to rest, is now also where you work. It's where you rest and it's also where you have to work out all of a sudden, right? So your, your gym now is like in your living room where all your kids stuff are or whatever your situation is, right? And so the environment's different. You could be by yourself, like a little quieter. It's just different, right? And you've probably experienced this and that can make it hard to put in that effort. It's so easy to just do your workout and kind of give it 50% because no one's watching, right? So I have some tips to help you put in more effort so you guys can maximize your results uh, during these home workouts, okay? So number one, I would say join a Zoom class. Uh, if you haven't already done it, give it a chance. Uh, it's really the best, uh, most closest thing to a hybrid class that you can get to at this point. Um, the coach is there. Coach is watching you. Coach is giving you clues. Coach is motivating you. You've got all your little hybrid friends on the screen there that are suffering with you at the same time. And you know, you're able to encourage each other and it's it's a really good experience. It's about the closest you're gonna get to a hybrid class. And I really encourage you to try it if you haven't already. Um, and the second thing I would say would be to definitely post your scores on SugarWad. Just having your score posted on SugarWad keeps you accountable, but mentally when you're working out, it's gonna give you that extra little bit of a boost of motivation because you know that you have to post those scores, right? So definitely do that. Number three, get a workout partner. Preferably someone who's gonna be there with you physically. So grab your spouse, grab your kids, grab whoever you can, make them work out with you. Um, and, and just having that someone someone else there with you is gonna push you and you're gonna push each other a little bit further than you probably would if you were just by yourself in the garage doing your own thing, right? Um, you can also get a partner virtually. So maybe grab your workout buddy from hybrid and say, hey, let's do a Zoom class together um, or let's compare scores and see, you know, let's try to beat each other uh, or even like do a private, just you and them on Zoom doing the workout of the day. Um, I've been doing my workouts with my workout buddies who I've been working out with for the past three years. Um, our little small group, we've started working out virtually, all like four to five of us, and it's been so much fun. And it's motivating because I see them suffering and I'm working hard and they can see me and they would know if I slacked. So uh, I think that's a really great way to stay motivated is by like partnering up um, either with someone in your house or someone virtually um, in groups of two or groups of more, it doesn't matter. Um, the third thing that I would say would be, um, this is kind of gonna get into more of the actual mindset part of it. I want you to remember that in the workouts, the part where you're the most uncomfortable, the, the like where you're suffering the most, that is where you're gonna get better, right? So try to get to that spot as much as you can where you're like really feeling like you're putting in that maximum effort. And when you're there, remember, this is how I get fitter, right? Those most uncomfortable moments is where the fitness gains are, okay? So try to keep that in mind in your workouts. Um, another thing that I would say would be to pick like a mantra while you're working out, like I am unstoppable or I am powerful. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it can absolutely work. Um, just having those motivational mantras to just keep repeating into your head, just to give you that extra little bit of a boost. Um, and the other thing that I would say, which is a little bit like kind of going back to more of the practical things that you can do. Guys, this is your chance. This is your chance to put the music on that you love. No one else is like, has their opinions about the music. You get to put on exactly what you want. Pump it as loud as you can without interfering your neighbors. <laughs> um, I know there's some like cool music out there that has like, um, 
motivational speeches to the music or whatever that can be really helpful or like yeah anything that gets you going anything that gets you going um and gets you moving and gets you pumped put it on this is your chance <laughs> uh and then the next thing that i would say would be um to imagine us coaches there with you okay so when you're working out just imagine kelsey is there with you okay i pick kelsey only because because we know, right? Okay, so imagine Kelsey's there with you. She's she's sitting on your couch in your living room while you're working out. What is she thinking? Is she thinking like, is she telling you that you need to try harder? Or is she like, would she approve of your, your performance and your effort? Just think about that. If I was sitting on your couch while you're working out, what would I think? Would I be like, they need to try harder? Or would, would I be proud of your effort? Nate, imagine Nate on your couch. All the other coaches, imagine them there in, with you. What would they think? W W T C T. What would the coach think? That can help. Um, and then there was one more that I had. Let me look at my note. I made a note. Oh, this one's super important. I should have almost led with this one. Make a goal for yourself. Um, have a target to reach. I want to get to five rounds of this in the time cap, or I want to um, complete this in under 10 minutes, okay? Pick a goal. And if you're unsure of what you should be striving for or where you're at, reach out to us coaches. We have a pretty good idea of where you guys are at and we can give you a little bit of an idea of where you should be aiming for, okay? Um, I hope this really helped. Uh, sorry if I talked really fast. I've had two coffees today and this was like my seventh time trying to film this and so it came out a little crazy. <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love all of the posting of the scores. Keep that up guys. Um, we love seeing all your videos. Keep making little videos. We love when you guys come up with all these creative ideas um, and join us on the zoom come on we miss you guys get on the zoom we want to see your face we want to work out with you um check the facebook for the schedule and for all the updates facebook more than a members group okay you guys are awesome miss you guys so much